Hey guys, Trudy here from It's a True Story. And today, well today Chaz Michael Michaels is joining me because we have something important to talk to you about. Right Chaz? Chaz looks very non-pleased. He doesn't give a shit, but I do. Because today we're talking about something that I know I've done a lot in the past, and maybe you do too, which is obsess about things. Um, now, the reason Chaz is here is because he's a dog. I know, it does not seem that intuitive. He looks like a small man in a furry suit. And um, for many reasons, I like to think of that way too. But my point is this, we all have an animal nature driven by our brains. And our brains are only concerned with three things, right? Survival of you, of me. Survival of our species. I count Chaz in my species, but you know what I'm saying, human species, and then like comfort. So those are the things that drive us. And when we're under siege, we go into a fight flight or freeze mentality. Yeah, that's something we all know about, right? So what my meditation teacher, Jeff Kober, and by the way, I'm going to link to his information in the bio because he's the one who turned me on to all this great stuff, all these great ideas, is that what separates us from the animals um, clearly is not our outfits. Chaz and I are wearing matching outfits today. Um, but what separates us is that we all have these gut instincts, right? So if I accidentally kick Chaz in the face, he recoils, he barks, he yells, he gets upset, he tries to bite me back. Um, but then he forgets about it. He's not obsessing about anything. In the moment he had a reaction, but he knows where his bread is buttered. And three seconds later, he's coming over to me and he wants me to give him something to eat. And he's all nice. Now, if somebody punches you and pushes you unaware, or picks a fight with you, or goes off on you, or does something to you, even something that's not their fault, like leaving you, um, that sticks with you, right? And sometimes you obsess and you just can't let it go. And there you are with a person that you really would like to have a relationship with, or it'd be better if your life would be better if you could just move on from the thing that happened so long ago that hurt in the moment, but it's so long ago now, it doesn't hurt anymore. But in your brain, your brain keeps telling you this story. See, that's what separates us from the beast. We have a brain that tells us stories about things and reminds us that that thing can hurt you or that thing did hurt you or that thing might hurt you in the future. And that thing may even be you. You might say something that you wish you hadn't said or you might be really worried about how you're gonna act tomorrow and your brain spins, right? So anyways, what I wanna help you with today is something that I found exceptionally helpful. It's a technique called letting go. Chaz and I are gonna read this to you now. It's from a book called um, Letting Go, The Pathway of Surrender by a man named um, Dr. David R. Hawkins. He was a psychiatrist and a spiritual leader. I know, Chaz. Chaz is like, when is this over? I need kibble. Um, but it's a really, really easy technique to learn. And my teacher, Jeff Kober, taught me uh, about this. And I've been using it for a while now. And the most miraculous thing has happened which is this brain, which is so good at spinning on stuff and obsessing about things forever and ever, doesn't really do that anymore. I kind of naturally just get out of those thoughts and feelings that are so torturous and get to the place of where it's feeling kind of what's underneath it all, and then I can let it go. So it's really powerful. So I'm going to read to you from this book. I'm going to put a link to this book in the description on my YouTube. Um, so you can check it out too, because it's a long book but I'm just gonna read you a super short passage from it. And it's just called The Mechanism of Letting Go, okay? So this is how you do it, super simple. Letting go involves becoming aware of a feeling, letting it come up, stay with it, and letting it run its course. <laughs> this is very boring. Let it run its course without wanting to make it different or do anything about it. It means simply to let the feeling be there and to focus on letting out the energy the first step is to allow yourself to have the feeling without resisting it, venting it, fearing it, condemning it, or, memor or, or moralizing about it. It means to drop judgment and to see that it's just a feeling. This technique is to be with the feeling and surrender all efforts to modify it in any way, and even let go of resisting that feeling. It is the resistance that keeps the feeling going. When you give up resisting or trying to modify that feeling, it will shift to the next feeling and be accompanied by a lighter sensation. A feeling that is not resisted will disappear as the energy behind it dissipates. Now, what's so genius about this is if you really think about it, Jess, is really about to take a nap. He's bored because dogs don't care. He's not resisting any feelings. He's going with 
he, he's going with the urge and the impulse, but there's no thought behind it. So what Dr. Hawkins is saying is that feeling that you're thinking about or telling yourself a story about is just a story. See, now, Chaz does not tell himself a story about anything. If he feels hungry, he knows what that is. It's just he's right in that. It's not like she's denying me food, she needs to feed me, it's past my bedtime, why is she so late giving me dinner? This happens all the time. I actually can see him thinking these things. He doesn't think those things because he just doesn't give himself that chance. Instead, he goes with a feeling of just being in the moment. And it's much easier when you stay in the moment to not get yourself all stressed out or anxious or, or full of self-hatred. I mean, all those things happen when you obsess. I think Chaz's yarn tells us that I've gone on a little bit too long. And so I'm going to stop there, you guys. But please, if you have any questions or comments or you spin on something, tell me about it in the comments. I'm interested in hearing what you guys have to say. And I'm hopeful that this is helping you because I know letting go has really helped me. And it's helped Chaz too. Um, he's actually let he's completely go and he's about to take a nap. So anyways, I hope this didn't make you guys want to take a nap. Remember, I'm here on Thursdays, usually the first and third. I'm doing my best, y'all. And uh, if you like what I'm doing here, please like, please subscribe. And I want to thank you guys. I want to let go of the idea that this was awkward in any way, shape, or form, or that Chaz didn't yawn 17 times in this talk. He did. It's fine. I'm letting go. Because you know what? I think it's helpful. I hope it helped you. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.